Well, at about the fifth month that I was here, another dateless Saturday night, my roommate and I were singing along to the Broadway cast recording of Dreamgirls. And he said, and I am telling you, what I want most in a man is intimacy. And I said, well, what I want most in a man is honesty. And lo and behold, three weeks later, Mr. Tall, handsome, and brutally honest. <laughs> Urban cowboy Brian Ray Hodge walked into my life. He spoke so fast and low, I couldn't barely understand what he was saying. I still can't. <laughs> and to break the ice at Barney's Beanery, I decided that I'd, I'd read his poem from a pamphlet I read somewhere. <laughs> and I was looking at his beautiful tapered fingers and and then looked up at his triple velvet eyelashes and a vibration went through me. Don't ask me just how it happened. I don't recall. I can't believe that it's happened and still it's true. I got lost in his arms and I had to stay. It was dark in his arms, and I lost my way. From the dark came a voice, and it seemed to say, there you go. Yeah, there you go. How I felt as I fell, I cannot recall, but his arms held me fast, and it broke the fall, and I said to my heart, as it foolishly kept jumping all around, I got lost, but look what I found. Well, Brian did not want his fortune told. And he pulled his hand away, and he told my friends that he thought I was a loose woman, out to trap him. But he still wanted to keep seeing me. And a few months later, he bought himself a house, actually it's a cabin, about as far away from civilization as you can get and still have indoor plumbing. And he invited me up on move-in day, and my ears popped three times going up that winding hill. And I knew there were rifles in every single house as I was going up. And we sat on his back steps and I was waiting for the rattlesnakes and the coyotes to show up. But inside it was cozy and rustic and he made a great dinner. And he took me to this little back room and there was this gorgeous new desk there. And he said, uh, that desk is for you in case you want to visit me some weekend, because I know how you like to work after work. <laughs> this man knew the way to my heart. <laughs> Fast forward to December, and a friend of mine was very ill, and so I flew to New York to be with him, and Brian called to make sure that I was okay, and he said, you know, why didn't I come in to see if you're all right? Brian does not like New York City. And he said, you know, as long as I'm there, why don't you invite your entire family in, and I'll I'll take them to this place called Cafe Des Artistes. So we had this lovely dinner, nine of us. And after they piled into their station wagon and left, he insisted that we go to the Plaza Hotel for a nightcap. And I did not want to go because I was worried about my friend and I was cold. But I figured Brian had remembered that none of my New York fellas had ever taken me to the Plaza Hotel. So we sat at a window table and it started snowing. And Brian ordered two cafe amarettos and said, will you marry me? And before he could change his mind, I said, yes, yes. <laughs> we both took a chance. Every day is still a surprise. How I felt as I fell, I cannot recall. But his arms held me fast. And it broke the fall And I said to my heart As it foolishly kept jumping all around
around I got lost but look what I 